Welcome to First English, and we are glad that you can come and join us for worship this day. As you come to worship, you will notice that things are a little different during this time. And so we're going to walk through coming to a worship service here at First English this Sunday and for a while now that we will be doing things a little bit differently than we normally do. So again, welcome to worship this day. And we will follow a typical First English family as they come and join for worship on Sunday. Ready? Walk around your nose. Good. Okay. Hands. I think we're ready to go inside. Awesome. Everybody has their masks on. We ask that everybody wear a mask as they come into the building. If you do not have a mask, one will be provided for you. So please put those on and then follow the signs and enter the building. Ready? What sanctuary? You know what the sanctuary is. No, I don't. Okay. Where is it? Is it the sanctuary we have food at real church? Nope. Where? Yeah. As you come in, you'll notice there's some signs that'll give you direction, and or there might be greeters or ushers too who will direct you as you enter the building and go towards the sanctuary, our place of worship. Of the church building where we worship. So it's got pews and the altar. Ooh, I know. That's right. The church isn't just a building, the church is a body of people. It's a group of people. It's like our church family. Oh. See? Should we see what the sign says? It says, please be seated in pews where bulletins are present. Let's go find the bulletins. What bulletins? The bulletins. The thing there, I have a paper bit on them. Right. Come on into the sanctuary. As you'll notice, some of the pews are taped off so that we maintain a distance from one another, at least physically, although we know we are joined together in the body of Christ as one. Each pew will have bulletins present. There will be communion there. There will be bread and juice for our communion time. And so we invite you to have a seat in the pews. And we will be seated throughout our worship time and even during our times of singing and communing. And again, we ask that you would follow any directions that are given by our ushers. As we gather for worship in the sanctuary, you'll find everything that you need printed in our bulletin in the spot in the pew. We will be praying together, confessing. We'll be even lifting our voices in song. We also will be sharing communion. And our practice for sharing communion will be a little different than it has been in the past. If you've been here for our drive-in worship, you're going to be a bit familiar with this, as we will have prepackaged communion. And the prepackaged communion has the juice and the host all in one little container. So after the words of institution that will be spoken by the pastor, we will then have the Lord's Prayer together, and following the Lord's Prayer, we will commune, and you will be communing yourself or the people that are with your household. So what I would ask you to do is for communion only, we're going to have you remove your mask so that you are actually able to consume the communion. So you'll remove your mask, and then you'll be able to use the hand sanitizer that is provided for you in the pew to sanitize your hands before touching the elements and consuming them. After you have sanitized your hands, and we will do this together as a worshiping body, I will then invite you to commune yourself with the bread and with the juice that are the body and blood of Christ. And you will open up your container and lift up the thin plastic lid, take the host and take and eat. This is the body of Christ given for you. Then there is a second layer that you'll be able to open that contains the juice or the blood of Christ. And after you have opened this, take and drink. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. You may then take the empty containers and either leave them in the middle of the pew or you may take them with you if you so desire, but they will be disposed of following worship. At the close of our worship time, after communion, we will have a closing hymn, as has been our tradition, 
our benediction or closing good words, and then our dismissal. After the dismissal, one of our ushers will give you directions on when it is time to leave your pew. And so after the dismissal is spoken, go in peace, serve the Lord. And as our wonderful and talented Bob Foster plays our postlude, an usher will come to your spot and say, you may now please exit the sanctuary. At that time, we invite you to stand up and exit from your pew. And you will exit out the same entrance that you came in. As you leave the sanctuary, you may take your bulletins with you, or if you do not wish to take the bulletin home with you, you may put it in the recycle bin. And we thank you for joining in worship this day, and also we thank you for following the rules that we can keep everybody safe and that we are able then to gather together in each other's presence for worship. As you leave the building, you may remove your mask if you wish. And again, if you have a disposable one that you've taken from here, please take it home and dispose of it at home. It's a fish